So for today's lesson we're going to do two more graphics. And then one on the video, which is this one here. And I'm going to leave you to do this one yourself. Actually I'll do, I'll do the other way around. I'll do, do, do this one on the video because it's a bit harder. I'll leave you to do this one yourself. So our A for the elevation is pointing on the right hand side. So we always start with the elevation, number one. So that, that's going to be going on the right. So next while in the middle of the page, I'll do that. What's happening. The topic, as you know, is autograph projection. So right down the middle of the page, the width of this, if I see that here, it might be a bit easier to see, is 100 wide. So we'll keep it nice and tight to the ball locks, otherwise it could come outside. I'm going to light line up for this. I'll light line up for this. Wait for two so that's the weight of it. The height of it, I have three measurements. Let's wait for the focus to come back in. Three measurements here, which are 25, 25, and 50. So from here, I'll come up 25, add 25 onto it, and add another 50 onto it. That, that comes from 25, 25, and 50. And I bring these. And bring these across. The heights of this, the width, this is over 25 and this is in 25 to get the step lock from the front of it. So 25 in and another 25. So the shape of the top of it looks like something like this. I'll put it in heavy now because I know what it looks like. The sides come down like this. I'm going to bring this down lightly. It's down lightly as well. elevation more is done and the top bit is heavy I've left out one thing on it I'll come back to it now if I'm looking at it you would see a little square here a square here and a rectangle so a square a rectangle and a square I have them there light so it's a bit heavy so that is my elevation done the next thing is the plan the plan is directly underneath it so we always bring these straight down any line that we have above will be brought down. We start with a line anywhere. Put it back into the plan. So I'm going to keep it, keep it nice and tight to it. And the width from this now, the widths come from here 25, 25, and 25. So 325s down from this line, not from this line now. So we set on 75. 25, 25, and 25 across. Just going all over the place. I'm just going to bring these across. We just set up a grid with it, first of all, and we try to figure out what's happening on it. If I look at these, these measurements, this is not 25. And this one is a bit more my neatness is leaving me down a bit today. So now I've got to figure out what the plan looks like looking down on top of it. So if I look down on top of it I'm going to see this sort of shape and this comes here and then I'm going to see the back of it. So I'm going to go over the outside outside of this post heavy. So this is the elements that I'm speaking of. like this. But that bit is this bit here. Then you've got a square, a rectangle and a square, which is just going to be like here. This, this and this. So this is the plan as I said. This is the plan. So I get my elevation. I use my 45 degrees extra and I 
draw a line from this corner here. You draw a pencil, I'm just going to put it in pen. This looks then there. So I bring all of these directly over this 45 line. Where these lines meet it, I bring these up. So by creating a grid really, a new elevation. So up to here and over. Then I've got to bring these heights straight across. So now I've got to find out what it looks like from the side view, which is B looking in here. So you're going to see a sort of an L shape like this with a bit above it. So try and remember which bit is highest down here. If I was looking at this drawing, this is the highest bit. This is here. Because if I follow it up, it's going to be highest on this side, not on, on this side. That's a common mistake. called the in view are also called the in elevation. So one thing that I'm missing here is this. If there's a hole in it, there will be a line here. So we can see it here, but it's still there. So we show this by a thing called hidden detail. Hidden detail is a dashed line, it's a broken line coming up. So that's the elevation, the plan and the in elevation. And two common mistakes, the elevation is on the wrong side, often. So make sure if our A is going to the right, you start the elevation on the right. The second thing is the wrong side is high here. So look at your plan. This is the highest part because this is this. So if I come up, it should be high here. This is the lowest part, the front bit L. So this is low here if you follow up. So keep those rules in mind and you'll be fine. 